Good evening everyone. Welcome along to Wednesday night, the 16th of March 2022. My name is Kelly Farley and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in <clears throat> Auckland, New Zealand. Um, and this is our card for tonight. I'll just wait and see if anyone pops on. Heidi! Um, mute myself on the computer. Hope you're feeling a bit better, Heidi. Um, bring them on camera. That's a new option. Um, hope you're feeling better anyway, Heidi. Sorry to hear that you're still on you know, you're not feeling very well. So this is our card tonight. It's I I don't know really the name of it. I've called it a left fold triple panel card, and it folds out like that. So you end up with this. So you've got like little, I've decorated it with designer series paper, but you could have some, you know. Hi, Lisa. Oh, that's not too bad, Heidi. A cough and a runny nose. Um, yeah, so that's, as you can see, I made a little mistake there. Hi, Catherine. Hope you're well. Um, yeah, so that's our card for tonight. Very similar to last week's one where... It looks like very similar to last week's one um, on the front, but last week's one you opened up that way, that way, and then it opened. So this just folds out this way. And this size here is your standard card size, so it fits into a standard envelope. Hi, Glennis. Um, and then just a little belly band to kind of keep it all together. That's purely optional, really. So I'll just move that out of the way, and we'll pop that there. And we'll start with... Our card base. This one has got um, a few layers but you could adjust that because I've um, used my card base and then I've got a plain layer in the designer series paper if you didn't want that double layering there. Maureen, hi, how are you? Um, you could just go straight and use that first layering size so you've got a bigger, bigger piece of um, designer series paper. All right, so we will start with our card base, which is all good so far down this way. That's good to hear, Catherine. Um, hopefully it stays that way. And I'm glad you're well too, Maureen. That's awesome news. Okay, so five and a half across there and then the full length of A4. All right, so you just, when you trim it off, you'll end up with this little piece on the side. So this is the A4 sheet, um, so you trim that bit off because you're five and seven eighths there, <coughs> which is a normal standard card width. Hi Sue, okay, so now all our other bits and pieces, um, you have, I'll start with the matting layers. So you have two pieces at, mm, what did I say those were? These ones are one and five eighths across the top. Hi Andrea, and length is five and five eighths, so it gives you that quarter inch border around the outside, so you need two of those. You need two at two and a half by five and five eighths, and then you need one, which is your base, for the inside of your card to write on and I've done a, a matting on that as well and that one is four by five and five eighths so all of those are five and five eighths which gives you the quarter inch around the outside so all together there's five pieces there then you have another larger piece which is going to go on top here and it gives you a nice little board what um I think I've used vanilla actually. Border around the outside there. Did I use vanilla? No, I think I've used white. I can't remember if I used vanilla or what. The light looks like it's vanilla. So you get a nice, I mean, you could change the colour of this one and have it so it's a coordinated colour, especially if your designer series paper has any, a different colour in it. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you have um, designer series paper. Now what I did um, with mine, so this one here, 
I um, cut out one of each. Uh, oh no, I did the same there. I thought I'd done this one so that I had two. This no, I haven't. I've got my um, two different designer series paper pieces. So I've done one each of the small size and one each of the larger size just to alternate it. You could do them all the same. You could have one that's different and two the others, two others that are the same. It's up to you, but you need two pieces which are going to layer on these smaller ones. And that is one and three eighths. Now, if you didn't mind, like if the if working an eighth of an inch is a bit of a nuisance um, and you didn't mind a wider border, you could trim this one down to um, half, one and a half, and this one would be one and a quarter. So you could do that. So, um, But I wanted to keep that quarter inch so that it was even all the way through. And then, so I've got two of those, and then <coughs> two pieces which are two and a quarter by five and three eighths so the same with same height as those in your top piece here and then slightly wider than your piece there okay so let's get on to it lots of bits there also a belly band if you wanted one and um extra bits and pieces for uh decorating belly band and decorating your card Alrighty. Excuse me. Um, we are going to score at four and a quarter. Now, when I did this the other day, I didn't read my instructions very well and I scored myself at four, so that wasn't ideal. It looked a little bit weird. So we're going to come down to four and a quarter and we're going to get our scoring tool on the track properly and we're going to score. Mm -hmm. And then we're going down to seven. And then nine and three quarters. So the score marks were four and a quarter, four and a quarter, seven and nine and three quarters. And you get these two panels will be the same size and then the outside pieces will be different sizes. Okay, and then that is our scoring. So we're just going to get our bone folder and score fold. Obviously didn't um, score as forcefully as I thought. So we're just going to score these. And then this in here. And I think I say this every time I score something, but um, when you have got a moving card like this, you want to make sure that your score lines go both ways, your, your, your folds are scored both sides, it just kind of breaks the fibres a little bit more in the paper, so it makes it a little bit more flexible. So then it folds up like that, and hopefully, and then I like to, once it's all folded, I like to go through and finish my score line. So you end up with it, when it sits to display, it ends up looking like that or like that from the front view. Okay, so now it's just a matter of decorating it. So I've got um, the artfully layered designer series, I mean, not designer series paper. I've got the design, artfully layered stamp set that I'm going to use. And I've decided... Um, I used the, I can never remember the name of that design series paper, but it's a really nice um, neutral pack that um, is quite handy. Where is it gone? Um, and it's got, it's actually great for men's cards, but it works really well with the Ladybug bundle. Um, it is called In Good Taste. So it's a massive pack. Um, you get, I think you get four, what do you get? 24 sheets of 12 by 12. So it's double the normal size of a 
designer series paper um, and so this is the one that I'm using tonight one of the ones I'm using tonight and then it's got that lovely brick paver kind of look and that's the other one I'm using tonight which has got like a textured carpet jacquard kind of print um, a few grainy Hessian ones another tile wood grain floor planks or wall planks um, tile and then you've got the pink um, which is Rococo Rose which I think is retired pretty sure it's retired I couldn't find it when I was looking for it the other day um, then a brick cladding floor like light timber floor this is quite a cool one it's like a jumpery a fluffy jumper <coughs> excuse me um, and then it's like a another floor warm floor carpet one yeah so um and as you can see i've used it a bit uh, works really well i use that in a class for the ladybird and it made really cool um we did it as a gatefold and it had um the wooden panels on it and so it looked like they were climbing up an old barn or something so i thought it looked quite cool the ladies that were at the class that would look quite cool too so uh, i was quite stoked with how that came out so i'm using artfully layered and i'm going with basic gray just for something a little bit different um i'm going to stamp on the inside piece so this is the smaller one of the larger this is the smaller one of the two pieces so that is three and three quarters by five and three eighths and um i thought that might be quite nice and hey there on the front <coughs> excuse me um first day back at work today and it was uh, pretty full on I'm feeling quite tired actually um in a long day after the last two weeks of not doing a whole heck of a lot really all right so basic gray and i'm just gonna pop my piece of paper underneath that so that i don't get it on my desk you're all very quiet tonight, ladies. Hope you're all doing well. And not, um, not sick or anything. Alright, so I think my basic green needs a little bit of a re-ink, but it also is one of those distinctive um, stamp sets where it's kind of variegated in the um, depth of and the um, depth of etching in the which gives you that more realistic kind of a look so I'm going to pop this here sending all the hugs and while I'm there I'm going to had some scrap there but maybe I didn't Sorry ladies, I just do everything. You're tired, are you? <laughs> I'm not surprised you're tired, Tracy. Happens on a trip. Was it good though? Did you go to the Maritime Museum? I've heard that that's really good. A really good trip. Okay, so Havia and I'm going to use the favourite double oval punch. And I'm actually going to punch it. It might fit in that one actually. But it's a bit close. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to punch it in the big one. And then while I've got the punch out, 
going to touch a piece at all. <laughs> yeah, no, that, the traffic, um, traffic jam is not fun with, um, did you go on a school bus? Did you go on a big bus? You wouldn't all fit in the school bus. Okay, now, while I'm punching, I'm going to punch the last one, but I don't know if you'd noticed, but this is the same punch around the outside, so what I've done is I've just cut two more, or you could do it as another whole one, um, or you can do it, I cut it as two halves so that I didn't have to cut it, but um, I'm going to cut, punch one, and then we'll put that all together later, but that'll be all done now. So I'll pop that there, so we're going to do that, the stamps out of the way and my ink out of the way. No big fat flash buses. Was that at, oh, was that because they got a subsidy for something? Sometimes that's what happens when you, or is that just all the buses that they could get? All right, now I'm going to start by putting this together. I'm going to just glue. And I have glued all of the layers. So I'm starting with the biggest end. I bet the kids were bummed that they had to wear seatbelts though. The kids are always like, oh, seatbelts in a bus, miss. Oop. If they're there, you have to wear them, don't you? Okay, so you're probably looking at this going, but there's only four flaps on the inside and you've got five pieces. It's because we're doing both sides of this end flap. <clears throat> I haven't coughed all day and now I'm no idea I was comfortable good day in the seats. Um I haven't coughed all day. And then I come on here, obviously talk too much. Um and have got this like little dry tickle in the back of my throat, which is so annoying. But it feels like it should be Friday and it's not. It's only Wednesday, but I have two more days to go. So it's sad that I'm counting down. Ah, oh, ah, oh, is it because it's been left too long, Lisa? I do recall Dinah saying that. Um, okay. So let's do the opposite of what I had before. So I've actually alternated them so that when you open it, you've got a different pattern on the inside and then this one will go on the outside so when you close it up you'll have those two together and then that will close so you'll see it like that <laughs> uh, uh, what am I using Maureen I'm using um, one of these it's called a stamp press um, it is my brother makes it out of on his 3d printer and then um i get some felt and glue that to it so it actually is good for um if you if you have trouble with um the bigger blocks or gripping them or getting enough pressure i have issues with my wrists every time i go to the chiropractor every week he adjusts my wrists so i just find it easier to get a nice even pressure and um i actually because it's nice and soft i quite like it for um, just smoothing out the card. You do have to be careful to make sure that it has actually started to kind of bond because I've done that before and moved my paper. Um, but it just kind of um, makes sure that there's no little air bubbles or anything in there as well. Um, I have them on my Facebook page um, and they are $30 
each plus um, shipping if you're yeah, I probably, um, mm, I'm not sure if it is Glennis or not, but um, it's got better recently, and I, I quite, it could be. He seems to um, manage to, to set it right once I, once I go, and actually, to be honest, oh no, that is not the paper that I wanted to use, that's what happens, um, and I don't like that. So, I'm just going to put that to the side, cut myself another piece, because mm, I don't want that pattern. It will just ruin the effect for me. Um, yeah, I don't necessarily get pins and needles. Um, <laughs> Hi Sandra. Um, yeah, I don't get pins and needles necessarily. I get just more like clicky um, joints and pain just in the wrist. Um, and I don't have, like I find it really difficult if I'm gripping things with, it just doesn't, I don't have a lot of power. Now that piece is the two and, two and a quarter. I'm showing you not what to do. Um, rather than what to do today. Obviously, um, being back at work was just a little bit more than I thought. So, three eighths is there. It will be an early night tonight, that's for sure. Okay, turn it over and glue the right side. Yes, Lisa, you're right, good old Paul. It, um, it sucks when um, he's closed or we have something else on and don't get to our weekly appointment. Because it um, makes all the difference in the world. Um... Okay, so I've got those two pieces there. Let's pop them on. <coughs> and then we're going to pop. No, I don't like that. You just never know when you're putting it together sometimes. Haha, <laughs> that must be something that's going around at the moment. I had to do Piper's collarbones yesterday. And it's one that I find extremely unpleasant, so I tense up. A bit like my knees. I don't like the back of my knees being done. Okay, now I think I still need to send. Um, so, my apologies. Is, was it you that won on Sunday night? I think it was. I suddenly got on here and thought, oh my god, I didn't write that down. I can go back and watch the video. But um, I just thought I'd cheat if seeing as you're on line. I'm going to throw this away so that I don't get myself covered in glue. Alright, so with our sentiment, I'm going to get my um, paper snips and we're just going to snip through middle of the plain one and I mean the white one the plain white one and the navy one and then what we're going to do is we're going to put those around there like that just with some glue you can get use tape if that's your preferred you just need to do it a little closer to the edge we're going to pop that on there like that <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, thank you, Sue. I thought it was. Um, I will get onto that today. For you. I'm just going to hold that there for a minute. And do the same on the other side and try and line it up so that they're kind of the same thickness. And hold that 
in place. I'm going to do the same thing with the white. I probably won't see the glue on here, but I'm just going to pop that there like that and move that out my way. I can actually get on it. And then I'm just going to layer that over the top. Like so. And bring our last one on. And bring that on. about the same and then hold that in place now that gives you three different levels of height of card so I recommend putting it onto your belly band with some dimensionals because it helps to kind of balance the height out a bit um, when you put it on and I just like to put quite a few on just to make sure that they all kind of stay in place. Overlapping, especially the layers that, that are on there. Mm, no, I'm going to put one there. Put that out to the side. Now, belly band. Similar to last week, really. Folding it up and then... Um, this one is thicker on one side than it is on the other side. So it's up to you whether you kind of make them both the same thickness or whether you just, um, because obviously you'll put your, in fact, actually, that is, that, mm -hmm. yeah, so that's a bit thicker on that side than it is on this side. So I'm going to keep it a little bit looser so that it's nice, it's kind of even. And that means also it doesn't matter when I flip it around <coughs> because I want it to be in the front. There like that. And I still want it to be able to slide out nicely, which it does. So put a glue on here. straight so I can get them lined up and then just pinch it until the glue holds oh, we've got time very close for time um, I have got oh it's got hot I've got five lovelies that have made a card from Sunday night so please let me know if I've missed you um, I've got Glennis yeah. Heather, Glennis, Angela, Andrea and Sandra so thank you very much and thank you Angela for sending me a message to remind me to pop the post up so you can put your lovely cards on um, rubbish how am I going to pop this on? I'm, I didn't measure that too well and I'm actually going to pop that on the right hand side to cover that up. But that's okay. And then it just slips on like so. You can have it, if you've got your sentiment popping out a little bit, you can move it up like that. <coughs> No, no problem at all, Lisa. Um, pavers and mulch. That does not sound like a fun activity. Hauling pavers and mulch. All right, so that is our card, ladies. Um, I hope you have a go. I hope you like that card. Um, and if you do have a go, I'd love to see your creations. I know everyone's super busy, so if you don't get a chance, then that's totally fine as well. But um, if you do get a chance, I'd love to see what you come up with. And um, it, it fascinates me with all the different 
Oh no, that's terrible, Lisa. Um, all the different papers and stamp sets and things that you guys put together are just incredible. So um, I really look forward to seeing what you all make. All right, so I'm going to look around and move you just slightly. I want to keep you over too long, so I'm going to get this going for you. And the winner is Angela. Congratulations, Angela. Um, I think that's the first card that you've entered into my draw, so congratulations. I will um, send you a message with some options after I've sent them to Sue and got her pick of um, prize, and then I will be sending that away to you. Um, all right. Thank you very much, ladies, for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoyed, whoops, I'll flip you around, you don't need to be looking at that screen, I don't know that you need to be looking at me much either, but um, I will flick. Um, thank you very much for watching, um, I look forward to seeing your creations, um, and I will see you on Sunday night. Yeah, thanks Lisa. <laughs> um, I am feeling like a coffee and then bed, I think, um, just to kind of, just chill, yeah. Um, I am feeling not too bad, actually, Sandra, thank you for asking, I, um, I went back to work today, um, so I officially had like two weeks off, which is outside of a school holiday is the longest that I, apart from having Piper, mm -hmm. that I've had, um, off work, which felt so weird, um, but, yeah, it felt like I hadn't been away, apart from all the lovely, lovely people saying, oh, welcome back, it's nice to see you. Um, yeah, so I've got a little bit of a dry throat now, so I think a coffee um, will work wonders for that. And then, oh, no, how old's your grandson? Hopefully they're not too bad. Um, it's, it's just, it's everywhere. Like, there's just no avoiding it, I don't think, anymore. Um I know of I, I know of people who um, have isolated with family that didn't get it. Like so there was a household member that had it and no one else in the house got it and then like a month later they've got it. Um, no, that's true, Lisa, you can't take them with you. It takes a damn long time to get that many. <laughs> yeah, we all had it too, Heidi. Um, yeah, cough is all they have now, here's Three. Oh, that's hard. Three. There's so little. Um, I'm glad that we were all, um, you know, of Piper's nearly 15, so that um, that was a whole lot easier with us all being sick at the same time. It would have been a nightmare if she'd been sick when she was little. Oh, uh, not everyone, Trace. Not everyone. And, not, like, so many people in the houses have had different symptoms as well. You know, it's just crazy. It's a crazy, crazy thing. He told his mum that the bugs need to go back to the hive. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Oh, I miss their age. They're so lovely. They come out with the cutest things. Um, all right, I'm going to let you go. I hope that um, you're feeling better, Heidi. And I, Sandra, I hope that um, your daughter and um, grandson get... Um, well quickly because it is it does take a while um yeah sadly unfortunately although some people i know he they do like three days and then they're over it so mine seem to drag out a little bit longer it is what it is um all right night night lovely ladies thank you very much for your time tonight i look forward to seeing you on sunday night and i will um post the cards up shortly. Alrighty, take care. Bye.